Hello everyone, Palumbo here. The video we're doing today in the case of Madeleine McCann, we're going to focus on the cook who cooked the McCann's meals and the Tapas restaurant's meals on the evening Madeleine McCann went missing. Before we start the video, you're innocent until proven guilty. This video is taken from a site called Hideho, so I hope they don't mind that I'm using the video. The reason I'm using the video is because the words spoken by the interviewer and the cook are in Portuguese, and obviously you have translations here into English, which helps us out. On what I'm about to tell you about the cook. So thanks to Hido, it's a good site so you, you should go and check it. So here you have the presenter and she's going to interview the cook regards what happened on the night Madeline disappeared. All the staff that were in the restaurant, according to this news outlet, never had their contracts renewed, so they were all fired. They could not speak out, so once they were fired, the cook in particular felt she could speak out about the chain of events. So we'll Play the video and I suggest you read the subtitles with regards to what the cook, Manuela, is actually telling the journalist or the interviewer. Não foram, um, o contrato não foi renovado, eles decidiram falar. A SIC falou com a cozinheira. Não dá a cara, mas um ano depois, e já sem trabalhar no Ocean Club, Manuela decidiu que não continuava obrigada ao silêncio. A cozinheira, que preparou o robalo com cuscuz e o bife de pimenta que os McCann jantaram na noite em que Médio desapareceu, estava na zona do grelhador, a três metros da mesa do casal. Eu já tinha comido o prato principal, porque era cerca das nove e meia, quando ela deu o alarme. Esta antiga funcionária do Tapas conta que, de imediato, vários colegas deixaram o trabalho para ajudar nas buscas. Enquanto isso, nas horas que se seguiram, durante quase todo o tempo, os McCann. So, you had the cook telling the interviewer there that she was three metres away from the McCann's in the grill area on the night Madeline disappeared, folks. She cooked the McCann's a meal which consisted of rabolo, couscous, a peppered steak. That's what she cooked the McCann's. She tells the interviewer that the alarm was raised at 9.30 because she was in the restaurant cooking the meals. Now, if we go to the statement of this cook, you will find that it totally contradicts what she's telling the interviewer in this video. You would assume that her statement, given on the 6th of May, would have all these pieces of evidence, what she told the interviewer here, you would think that all that piece of evidence what she's telling the interviewer would be included in her statement. That is, she was in the restaurant, three metres away from the McCann's, she cooked them the meal, and the alarm was raised at 9.30. Be with. So, here you have some of the external work done by the PJ with regards to the tapas bar employees. The external work it says here was done on the 4th of the 5th 2007. 
so it was the day after Madeline had disappeared. So I presume this external work were just like basic statements, like informal statements, if you know what I mean. So if you scroll down, you would assume that the cook statement would be in here. So you have Geronimo Thomas Rodriguez Salidas, Starikova Vittorio no, Miguel Salidas Khalil, Joachim Jose Maria Batista, Fabio Soros Santos, Ricardo Alexandra de Luz Oliveira, and then it says here. Maria Manuela Antonio Jose. Now, this was the lady who was doing that interview with the journalist folks. Maria Manuela Antonio Jose was the cook. At the bottom of this tapas booking, employees who worked on the night. If you read this out, it says... As for the kitchen employee, Maria Manuela Antonio Jose, given that she was not in service yesterday, neither during the dinner, nor when the disappearance of the child occurred, she was not interviewing. So that is the PJ writing down in statements that Maria Manuela Antonio Jose was not in service the evening Madeline went missing, folks. During the dinner, when the disappearance of the child occurred, she was not interviewed. So, Maria Manuela Antonio Jose, who's just told the interviewer, in the video I've just shown you with the subtitles, she tells that interviewer that she was in service that night, folks. That she cooked a meal for the McCann's, or a bolo, which involved cook, couscous, and a peppered steak. She told that interviewer that she was three metres away in the grill area. And she told that interviewer that the alarm was raised at 9.30 but here you have the PJ in the statement saying Maria Manuela Antonio Jose was not in service that night now it's saying here she wasn't interviewed but if you read the PJ files she did actually give a statement on the 6th of May, 2007. So again, you would assume that what she told the interviewer in that program, that she cooked a meal for the McCann's, that she was three metres away in the tapas bar, and that the alarm was raised at 9.30, you would assume that would be in her statement. Here it is, that PJ statement, folks. As you can see, it was done on the 6th of the 5th, 2007, just like I said. And her name is Maria Manuela Antonio Jose. The cook. Cooked the meals for the McCann's. Now, you would assume what she told the interviewer, like I said, in that programme would be an air statement. Because it makes a difference. If she is telling the interviewer that the alarm is raised at half nine, then it contradicts what Kate McCann was saying with that the alarm was raised at ten o'clock. Now, according to the PJ, what she got out of what they got out of Maria Manuela Antonio Jose was the following that she had worked in the Ocean Club since March 2006 as a cook in one of the restaurants within the complex called the Tapas Restaurant. 
with relation to the facts being investigated, she confirms that on the 4th of May, at about half past six, when arriving for work at the complex, she heard from her supervisor, Steve, that a female child who was staying with her parents and siblings at one of the Ocean Club apartments had gone missing on the previous day, the 3rd of May. Now, she would already know this, folks, wouldn't she? If she was working in the restaurant on the 3rd of May, the night Madeline disappeared, she would already know that a child would have gone missing due to the fuss that was going on in the area. But in the statement here, she's telling the PJ that she heard from that person called Steve and that's how she found out that a child had gone missing, folks. How can that be if she told an interviewer she was working on the night? When she was informed of the disappearance, she did not realise who the child it was. It was only later, watching upon the television news that night, and after seeing pictures of the missing child on the television, that she realised who the girl was, was, referring to her as Madeline, the name used by the journalists. Now here's the crux of the matter, folks. This is in the PJ files. Bearing in mind that Manuela said she was three metres away on the night Madeline disappeared from the McCann's and she served or cooked the McCann's meal and the alarm was raised at 9.30. The PJ must have asked the question, what, what, did, what happened on the night then? Or do you know anything about so-and-so? Upon questioning, the witness confirms that on the day of the disappearance, she worked at the restaurant from 10 o'clock to 18.45. When having finished her shift, she went home, where she remained with her 13-year-old son until approximately 10 o'clock the following day, the 4th of May. So Maria Manuela Antonio Jose is telling the PJ that she only worked from 10 o'clock till 18.45. Which is quarter to seven, folks. She then finished her shift. This being on the 3rd of May. And then went home where she remained with her 13 year old son. Until 10 o'clock on the 4th of May. The following day. Now how can this be, folks? Because I've just shown you an interview done with Manuela and she tells the interviewer that she served the meal or she cooked the meal for the McCann's and the Tapas 7. Because she was in the restaurant and she actually cooked the meal. She cooked the meal and she was three metres away from the table where they were sitting and she told that interviewer that the alarm was raised at half past nine. But according to her statement, she wasn't working that night. <laughs> the witness confirms that on the day of the disappearance, which is the 3rd of May, folks, she worked at the restaurant from 10 o'clock. Now this is not 10 o'clock at night folks, this is 10 o'clock in the morning. She then worked till 18.45, which is quarter to seven in the evening. So she'd finished her shift according to the statement. 
Then she'd finished her shift and went home where she remained with her 13-year-old son until 10 o'clock the following day. Until the following morning, folks. So Manuela is telling the PJ that she wasn't there on the night. But she tells an interviewer in a programme for Portuguese TV that she cooked the meal for the mechanics. She was three metres away in the grill area from the McCann's table and the alarm was raised at 9.30. How can it be so different? How can she go from telling the PJ that her shift finished at quarter to seven, which means she wasn't there? to then telling an interviewer that she cooked the meal for the McCann's that she was three metres away in the grill area from the McCann's table and that at half past nine the alarm was raised this is why you can't get to the bottom of the case of Madeline McCann folks Because the statement Manuela made does not fit in with what she told that interviewer that she was there when her statement tells us that she wasn't there. Makes you think. <laughs>